Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about adding and subtract, subtracting um, decimal numbers. Um, the first thing that you always must do is, generally you're going to see a problem laid out like this, where uh, it's written horizontally. Uh, the first thing we need to do is take that expression and rearrange it so that we can calculate. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the second add end and move it below. We need to make sure that we line up, though, all the digits. So you'll notice right away that I've got a problem here, which is that my digits are not well lined up. Um, so I need to make sure that everything is in nice, neat columns. Now, you'll notice that here... I have an empty place value where we have thousandths in that first add end and no thousandths in the second add end. So I can leave it blank, that is allowed. However, I'm less likely to make mistakes if I recognize that there are zero thousandths in 1.15. That's going to help me keep track of each place value. Now I draw a, li a line to keep my work organized. And now to do addition of decimals, I simply add each place value in turn. It's really, 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 really important to make sure that in this sort of problem that I have the decimal points lined up uh, one on top of the other. That's going to let me do this in the efficient way uh, because I need to make sure that I am adding like units. So here I'm adding thousandths and here I'm adding hundredths, and then tenths, and then one. Let's go to it. Um, so, first I have one plus zero, I, so there's one thousandth in my sum. And then I have seven plus five, um, that's twelve, so I need to carry. So I, I place the two down, and I bring the one to the top. What that is showing is that seven hundredths plus five hundredths is twelve hundredths. And twelve hundredths is one tenth and two hundredths. So I put the um, two hundredths in the hundredths place and carried the tenth over into the tenths place. So now let's add that. It's one plus nine plus one. That's eleven. And again, that's eleven tenths. So I put the one tenth down there and I carry the one to the ones place. Now I need to make sure that I mark my place value in the sum. So I put my decimal point right in that column and I add those 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So that 2.971 plus 1.150 is 4.121. All right, now we're going to turn to subtraction. Um, first thing to notice is that this is a subtraction problem. I cannot say enough times how important it is to be careful to make sure that you are paying attention to what operation is indicated in the problem. Here we have the minus sign. This is a subtraction problem. If you add, you will not get the correct answer. So, be really, really careful about that. Just like in the last problem, I am going to rearrange this uh, so that I am doing it vertically. It's really important not to line it up like that, where I have it all uh, smushed up against the right-hand column, but with the decimal points on top of each other. Um, for addition and subtraction, this is the way to do it. Um, so, okay, this is made a little bit complicated by those empty places up above, right here. And I don't have anything to subtract one away from and three away from. Well, I know that in 1.9, there are zero hundredths and zero thousandths. So I uh, mark them like so. This is going to require some borrowing. I cannot take one away from zero. So I'm going to have to borrow from the next place. Uh, but unfortunately, that place is also a zero, so I have to borrow from the next place. So I take one away from nine, it becomes eight, and then this becomes ten. Um, but remember, I need to borrow from that as well, so it becomes nine, and this becomes ten. So ten minus one is nine. Uh, make sure that you are always s subtracting. Um, you borrow and then subtract. If I said, well, I can't take one away from zero, so I'll do zero away from one, that's one, that's wrong. So 10 minus one is nine, nine minus three is six, 
8 minus 9. Well, I've got to borrow. It didn't look like I might have to at first, because I could take 9 away from 9, but that has been borrowed from, and it's now an 8. So I borrow from here. That becomes 0. This becomes 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. Am I done? Nope. I have to make sure that I mark the place value, and it's a good habit just to deal with that last one. 0 minus 0 is 0. So, 1.900 minus 0 0.931 is 0 0.969. Well, I hope that's a, a little helpful lesson on the procedure. Um, uh, if you run into any problems, please feel free to use the math hotline. Um, fill out that form, and I can get back to you right away. Okay, uh, have a good night.